So there is a lot of ground I want to cover today in today's video. For one, we have Chinese censorship of Chainsaw Man's anime, to Bleach-related news, and even JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stone Ocean Part 6 reaching a conclusion, which is basically the ending of JoJo itself. So... Yeah, there's a lot I want to talk about in this video, so I guess let's talk about the first topic, which is the Chainsaw Man censorship, because I feel like many of you are going to click on this video for this reason alone. So let's start. This right here, Makima. We get to see... Yeah, I, I, I don't think I need to describe exactly what this looks like, so I'm not going to go into the, the big details. The point, though, is, is let's talk about... What is this? Okay, what's going on here? So anyone that actually has been on social media, aka Twitter, for over a year now is probably very aware of edits like this. And this is another one of those edits or a tweet that has blown up in popularity, started causing a lot of discussion around censorship, etc. And there even is a wiki page, like an origin to this, which is basically a Chinese anime censorship meme, as you can see, which is a parody edit of anime screenshots. Like, this is kind of where the origin of it began you get to see your with blood and then you see like the you know it's replaced with white color which obviously yeah and this is just a meme that has obviously been spreading around a while now for over a year and the point of this is is that people actually at face value they look at this and they're like holy crap wow that this is awful censorship and i'm just going to be completely honest with you I don't know exactly all the censorship or laws etc in china because they have definitely censored a lot of stuff but from my understanding, these edits are completely fake. They are actually fake. And I believe there is someone here in the comments that actually showcases the actual... Yeah, here it is, right here. This person right here, this is, was on Billy Billy, which is basically like a Chinese website. And this actually shows the screenshot that, you know, Chinese audience got to watch. So... It's obviously not censored, and so I just, I wanted to make a topic, I want to start it off with this, because I keep seeing this all over the place, I've seen YouTube videos talk about this as well, like saying, wait, China's censoring this, and, you know, changing the blood color out, and making it a lot worse, I, I wanted to just put this to rest and talk about this, this is absolutely fake, and I feel like people are blowing this out of proportion, and it needs to be settled once and for all, is that this is actually not real, this is just an edit of people just wanting to basically say, wait a minute, you know, holy crap, I can't believe China did this, like, they censored this or whatever, just, I, I, I wanted to just be straight up here, this is fake, it's hilarious, don't get me wrong, it's absolutely hilarious, I, I get a good chuckle from these, but, um, it's fake. Now, moving on to the next one, let's talk about this. So, we have Bleach-related news, and this came out a day before, like, there was some info that came for Bleach, with Taite Kubo official and all that, this was announcing, like, the official announcement on Taite Kubo's official Twitter, by the way, you know, offer of Bleach, and basically, this screenshot that posted obviously reached another, a lot of popularity, a lot of people quote, uh, retweeting, retweeting, etc., and when you look at this image, obviously, the first thing you think of is, like, wait a minute, is this Hellark-related news? FYI, if you're aware of that if you're an anime only don't worry no spoilers there was a one shot chapter that came out like less than a year ago for bleach and it kind of you know picked up like 10 years after the ending of the manga and that's all i'm gonna let you know and so people are speculating when is kubo gonna start writing more to bleach that that's what people have been wondering and so when you see this image obviously myself included got very hyped up for potentially news on a manga continuation. So we waited 24 hours, and 24 hours passed, we waited for the announcement, and the announcement was a data book. And so, yeah, anyone that is wondering if there actually was, like, an announcement for another one-shot, or Burn the Witch continuation, or, you know, Bleach manga-related news, that's not the case. It's, uh, it's a new data book. Now, don't get me wrong, apparently the data book sold very well, apparently it literally reached out of stock in like a few hours, like completely out of stock, and they're trying to figure out how to restock it again, so that does say a lot, that there's a lot of people that are craving bleach, and I'm happy to see that the data book completely sold out instantly when it was released, but besides that, there really isn't much more to the bleach related news. Now let's talk about JoJo. So, <sighs> FYI, there's probably a lot of people that uh, love JoJo here, that is watching this video, but have absolutely no idea that JoJo's final episodes actually came out. Like, th this is the finale. Like, legitimately, this is the finale of JoJo Part 6. And it has a spec 
spectacular conclusion. I'm going to say that right now. I sat down, I watched this, I was just like, yo, this is, this is great. Like, David Productions really did a good job with the conclusion of JoJo. The sad, harsh reality of the situation is there is a lot of people that don't even know it's out or haven't even watched it. And I don't want to beat a dead horse because I've talked about this a lot. I have talked about the reasons why nobody's talking about it when it comes to Netflix, etc. I don't want to beat that same horse again because we all know why the reason it's not being talked about. It just it hurts so bad because this is technically the, the conclusion of JoJo, like, six-part journey, this is the conclusion, and the fact that they even have, like, Roundabout, like, Roundabout is in the ending song, like, the, the original Roundabout, and nobody's really talking about this, like, I see a scattered post here and there, it makes me sad, because this is a really good conclusion, this is a really good ending for JoJo, and it really stood out to me, and I loved it, I love the music, I love the voice acting, just, it, it hurts, it really hurts to just see JoJo done this way, I mean, Granted, it is a very active anime season, like Chainsaw Man, Bleach, you know, Mob Psycho, I've talked about this with other series, but still, just seeing JoJo not even be talked about, especially for its, like, finale, that hurts, man, that, that really does hurt, so, um, yeah, it's just, this was a quick video I wanted to talk about, like, a few things, like, miscellaneous stuff that, you know, was, like, so short, I guess they couldn't be, uh, long enough to be its own video, I just think that, uh, I wanted to talk about, you know, all these little things, because we had, like, you know, this fake stuff with, you know, Chainsaw Man, to, you know, the Bleach stuff that people are blowing out of proportion, to then also JoJo, which I feel like deserves just so much more talking about, but... I'll leave it at that. May you all have a fantastic day or night wherever you live. Be safe, stay healthy, chibi out.